they call it pleasing for profit is the uh, the slang, but uh, it's called uh, seizure forfeiture laws. And it comes from maritime um, finding boats with you know abandoned or criminal activity. The police can seize these boats, and because they may not be a citizen, uh, this this idea of this seized boat and the seized property may be may have been in the use of it may have been used in the uh, event of a crime even though no person committed this crime these things could have aided in a crime that happened is that yeah no i, I tracked yeah. it it's just weird okay. logic it is weird logic and yeah. so this carried over into state police and you know this is a this is a thing seizure forfeiture is basically if the police claim that they witnessed a crime through your window of your house, right? They could go in and say, everyone's arrested. We're seizing your house. We're seizing your cars. We're seizing your money. We're seizing everything inside your house, right? And this would happen a lot during the caregiver days. Of, well, we don't know that they had cards. They're not registered or whatever. So we're going to seize the house, seize the cars until they either... Um, and the way most municipalities work on this is you got to put 5% of the value of whatever they take during this the seizure into an account. So if they take your house, you know, if you live in a you know, $125,000 house, right, you got to come up with 5%. That's, you got to come up with $6,000 to like have them hold on to your house until the trial. That's okay? insane. Yeah. Insane. So in the meantime, they're allowed to sell it at auction if you don't pay the bond. So, so corrupt. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's Ugh. enticement. It, but you know, logically, it also you would think at a first glance, well, don't commit crimes. You know, <laughs> that <laughs> sure. is something that I would impulsively want to say is put put sure. committing crimes, but at the same time, don't realize it until it happens to you that, like I said, I was arrested. They took my car. They took two guitars that were in the trunk. I was playing at church. I uh, had to borrow a guitar for a couple months. Uh, they took my work laptop. They also happened to take the 12 ounces that, you know, were suspected to be illegal that were found to not be illegal. But I I was missing my car for six months. I had to come up with like $5,000 to secure my laptop, the car, the stuff, you know. On top of all this, just to go through all that, they dropped my charges the next day. I was released from jail. They found my cards in the trunk of the car. They dropped all the criminal charges against me. But it took about that long to, to actually get my stuff back because under these rules, you may not have committed a crime, but your stuff could be could have been used in the you know, in the act of the crime. Yeah. That was not committed by a person, but this crime happened, even though there's no one that's been found guilty of it. Your stuff could be still be guilty. Huh. Yeah, That's so, so like crazy. we actually ended up suing on the state level and winning, and we changed the rules of St. Joe County to where it's a lot nice. harder for them to, <laughs> to be able to do it. Yeah, uh, but uh, you know, this there. is my little corner there. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the case that was brought to me, the lawyer that represented me at the time said, we can just walk away with their stuff or take them to state court because what they're doing is actually, you know, in excess of what the state allows them to do. They were not just charging 5%. They're also charging a surcharge of like another two thousand dollars or something. Oh, okay. So it's even worse in some sense. Yeah, and the case he, you know, the lawyer encouraged me. He was wanting to take it to state court. Right, that's kind of what they do. Um, the the use case there, the the scenario he presented to me was say the single mom cashes her her paycheck or her tax check. Right, end of the year, you get your tax check, you cash it. You're driving. Please pull you over find a roach in your ashtray. They take your cash. They take your cash, your car, right? Where is she going to come up with? She's already carrying around her cash because she doesn't have a checking account. Um, I'm not trying to stereotype anybody. You know, sure, you the sure. Idea. This scenario happens. Yep. Yeah. Uh, your car is not even worth trying to go out and find the money. In the meantime, they're taking your car, taking the cash, everything you got. You know, who did it really help? I mean, it's not worth that much, but in their life, it's all the difference. It's getting to work. It's having a paycheck. Yeah. It's, you know, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, try to talk about that 
seem to forfeiture. It's still wrong. It's still a thing. It's just now marijuana is not, you know, the odor of marijuana being present is no longer, Can no longer a good reason that. to yeah. walk into your house, which is stuff. Yeah. Huh. Man, that is crazy. I didn't. I honestly didn't even know about that. So, it's yeah. crazy.